Hello everyone, how are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for all signs of the zodiac. We are going to get started on the weekly reading. I call them the B weeklies. I break it up into general, into the elements, and then into the individual signs for love. Guys, I am also considering putting out love readings weekly as well for the general public. So just expect those. And if you guys like them, let me know. Okay, I'm just going to try it out. See, see how it all works. Um, thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that would like to subscribe to my channel, please make sure that you click on the uh, notification button and the little wiggly bell so you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. For those of you that want to get a reading with me or to subscribe to my website, you certainly can. The link is below. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get started. There are some significant ending energies coming up. And the reason why I say that just in general is because when we've got the sun in Pisces, Pisces is the 12th sign of the Zodiac. And this is where things have to be wrapped up from the past in order for us to start that new year, right? Like that Chinese new year, the, the spring equinox, all of that, you want to get rid of that past baggage. So that's just something that you guys um, should consider possibly for, for some of you out there. Um, also, I will be putting up the new moon in Pisces reading as well after this one. All right. Okay. I'm going to cut the deck. So let's get the general energies for the collective for the upcoming week of March 4th to approximately March 10th. The first card we have is the moon. The second card that we have is the Ace of Cups. The third card that we have is Temperance. And the fourth card that we have is the Six of Pentacles. Very, very interesting energy, guys. I must, must admit here. So let's see what we've got going on. So the first, um, and then I'll do the psychic downloads once we get into the... Um, the finish of this particular uh, reading. So what we have first is we have the moon card. So you do have that Piscean energy around you, that psychic energy, that elusive energy. We have the sun, the moon, and Neptune conjunct. This is going to be significant. Please mind your reality. A lot of people are daydreaming. A lot of people aren't paying attention. All right, so please be aware of that. Um, I just heard that someone has a secret crush on someone else, but you know, we'll get into that. If the downloads come in, the downloads come in, I'll just, I'll just mention them. For some of you out there, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person has great significance in your life. There could have been a level of deception. So some of you could have uncovered deception or um, someone around you could have un uncovered you being deceptive towards them. There is a level of deception here. There is also a level of yearning to be with somebody, wanting to be with somebody, wanting to spend more time with them. It's almost like you see them out or you see them hanging out with their friends or they see you hanging out with your friends. And it's like, you know, I wish I, wish I was invited. I wish I could spend time with that person. I wish I was laughing in the living room. And you know what I mean? It's just, it's that energy of feeling left out but perhaps you have a level of ownership with this or someone else has a level of ownership with this, meaning that maybe there was not enough effort that was put into a relationship and therefore they're now spending time with someone else or they're spending time with their friends because you just didn't put enough effort in or you didn't make a decision or, or they didn't make a decision with you. But that's definitely coming up here. But psychic abilities and psychic connections to a loved one is very, very, very high in this upcoming week for sure. Uh, we do have that new moon on the 5th and the 6th, and we've got the moon card. So guys, what I am sensing here is that each of you uh, look at your natal chart, find out where Pisces is in your natal chart, and make your uh, new moon affirmations, your new moon wishes for that particular area of your chart, whether it's your 12th house, your first house, whatever, okay? Make that, um, that new moon intention because it's going to be significant. It's actually coming out in the cards, okay? 
The next card we have is the Ace of Cups. This is love. This is being patient uh, for love to come in. This is um, being able to give and receive love as well. Very, very important to give and receive love because what I'm sensing here is that someone may have been giving you know, their time and their energy to someone else and you or, or they were just propping you up or you were propping them up with your attention, but then they turned around and they gave it to somebody else. Like you're giving this person all this attention and all this love and everything. And it's like, they're, they just take it and then they were giving it to somebody else. That could definitely be. This may have something to do with a Sagittarian person in your life as well. So not just Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but Sagittarian. So there could be something going on relative to a Sagittarian in your life. Um, maybe you uncovered them being deceptive with you or they uncovered you being deceptive with them relative to love or relative to some sort of union or some sort of, you know, um, partnership here. I am sensing a lot of crying. Um, I sensed it in um, the last reading as well, but this I am sensing somebody really crying over this new moon for some reason. It's really overly emotional. Please, please, please keep your wits about you. Um, try to stay as balanced, stay as balanced as you possibly can. Everything will be fine. Okay. Don't let your fears interfere with what it is your goals are. Okay. So you identify your goals and you move forward. All right. And you definitely want to do research now and not move forward like right away. You might want to do your research and then move forward um, in the third week of March, the fourth week of March. But there is love. There could be love with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarian. Uh, there could be secrets relative to this relationship. Um, this could be in work as well. Um, there is something regarding plumbing as well. So guys, please make sure that you are paying attention. I just heard burst pipes. So that is coming up for some reason. A leak. There's a leak. There's a leak. That's what it is. Um, there is, uh, there's some uh, secret information, uh, confidential information that got out because of a mole or a leak, um, a, a news leak. Like it's like, you know, when, when somebody gets a hold of, of, um, information and it gets exposed. Okay. This is what I'm seeing here. And this, interestingly enough, um, somebody is being paid to cause this leak or somebody's being paid to release some sort of information to, uh, cause a level of unrest or fear <clears throat> into the lives of other people. Because the reason why I say that is because we've got the Six of Pentacles here. So the Six of Pentacles is all about um, paying somebody off. Okay. You, uh, you or someone you know, or, um, or just someone, someone is paying somebody else off to be quiet or to reveal a secret or to start a rumor. Okay. This is definitely coming up here. And there is a lot of deception around this. There's a lot of lies and there's a lot of fog. There's a lot of deceit. And it's to instill fear in people. It's to cause people to be fearful. Okay. Like, oh, you have to do this or the world's going to come to an end. It's like, no, this is just fear mongering. That's what this is. And it could be coming from anyone. It could be coming from you. It could be coming from a boss. It could be coming from a family member. It could be coming from the collective. It could be coming from, you know, the, the region, you know, the nation, whatever it is. But there's a lot of fear mongering. There's also fake crying. So please be aware that somebody is going to try and, and get to your, um, your, your compassionate side or your forgiving side through, oh, puppy tears, you know, like, and nothing against puppies. I love puppies. Right. But it's just like, it's like it's a setup. Okay. Somebody's crying and they're, they're, they're putting out, they're pulling out all the stops to get you to do what it is that they want you to do. Okay. Now some are, are actually crying because they have a reason to cry. 
right? Okay, so just be aware of that, okay? Um, let me see what else I'm getting here. Some of you are taking a risk. You are ready to take a risk. You're ready to start, um, you know, giving and receiving in a relationship, whether that's at work or whether that is in your finances with your family or with a loved one. Definitely coming up here, there is this give and this take, this give and this take. And you're willing to work to bring a really good balance into the situation. Uh, for some of you, there is legal issues that are happening at the present time. Some of you, some of you, um, insurance claims are significant. Some of you are, some of you have filed an insurance claim because of damage to the home and, um, just be patient. Okay. Uh, there is something here also where it's really interesting. It's almost like you know, you're in small claims court or you filed a claim for some sort of injury, but in the discovery, it's like your lawyer finds this deceptive, this deceptive action that this company took. And now they're even in more trouble. Okay. So it's almost like, okay, let's file the claim. Da, 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 you know, let's just go through the motions. And as you're going through the motions, all of a sudden during discovery, you're you looking at this data and you're like, wait a minute, they didn't disclose this. They are charging this much. They are not disclosing where they're putting the money. They are not identifying their algorithms. I mean, something is going on here where it's almost like something else that gets discovered that only that not only makes you more profitable in the situation or someone more profitable in the situation it also causes like another claims another another litigation to come out okay but law and legal is extremely important for some of you out there there's discussions regarding law and legal some of you may want to go to law school some of you may want to go into paralegal definitely coming up here um discussions about law is certainly coming up let me see what else I'm picking up. I, I need to I need to get going because um, I need to start doing the individual uh, signs. So let me see if I, what I'm picking up psychically here. I am hearing going around and around and around and around and there's no solution. For some of you out there, you are going to face that coming up. Um, some of you are leaving a third party situation. You've had enough. Uh, some of you, it has been discovered uh, that you um, were dealing with somebody who wasn't exactly honest with you or they were omitting certain pieces of information which didn't allow you to make your own decision. Okay. Now remember, um, you know, when we don't tell somebody something, um, it doesn't mean that it necessarily hurts them. It doesn't mean that maybe you just want to keep that information to yourself. Right. And, and maybe you've eluded to certain things at some point in time, but but for example, with a third party, let's say that you're seeing someone and you're like, you guys are talking and then the one person says, well, I don't control you. And, you know, I've thought about third party situations before they alluded to it, but they didn't say that they were part of a third party situation. You know, you were thinking, OK, well, maybe they're setting me up to tell me that they want to have an open relationship or there's somebody else that they're interested in. But then you find out that, um, you know, that is that's not the case, right? You find out that a third party situation was going on and the omission of that information didn't allow you to make a decision on whether or not you wanted to stay in a third party or whether you wanted to leave. That is what I'm getting here. Let me see what else I'm getting. Some of you are getting a new bathroom. Absolutely. You're, you're, you're redoing your bathroom, you're retiling the tub, the shower, whatever it is. I mean, you are like, you're like, this bathroom needs to get fixed. I mean, I am done 
walking into this bathroom the way it looks. I'm, I'm going to redo this bathroom is what I'm sensing. Let me see what else I'm getting. Some of you are getting a gastric bypass surgery as well. That is coming up. And so for some of you out there, there's something about something you're wearing like around your waist, you know, for working out, whether, whether it's to uh, keep your back stable or to support your back or something that you're strapping into like your, your stomach area is what I'm seeing. Maybe it's a stress test. I don't know. Let me see what else I'm picking up psychically. Then I got to move on. There is something about the poem footsteps. Okay. Um, or there's footsteps, oh, footsteps. Um, guys, that this might be related to the secret. There's something about footsteps that is going to reveal either a secret or it's going to reveal the absence or the presence of someone else it's almost like when you take a um when there's like a boot print a footprint on the ground and like you pour a mold in there to identify the boot or to identify the footprint that that is what i'm seeing relative to the uncovering of something. This might be something as simple as, you know, women, I just want you to be careful. And even some men, um, if there are footprints around your home that, that perhaps don't match, you, you know, your three inch heels, you know what I mean? And you haven't had any like men around, it, it means that perhaps, you know, there could be someone that is uh, lurking around, okay, and maybe watching you or stalking you. It, it is coming up here and, you know, just, just do what you have to do, whether it's, you know, a mobile video device or something like that, but there's something about footprints. But it could also be the poem Footprints about, um, I think it's about the Lord or, or something like that. But... That's definitely what I'm picking up here. All right. But for some of you, just be patient with love. It's coming. You got to make sure if you're going to give, you got to receive. If you're going to receive, you got to give. You can't keep secrets anymore. Secrets are coming out. They're absolutely coming out right now. It, they have to because, you know, Neptune, Sun, and the Moon conjunct with Mercury going retrograde. You know, guys, I'm just letting you know that crap is coming out. All right, because when you've got the illum when you've got the luminary, which is the sun, the sun illuminates Pisces, which is the past, the hidden, the clandestine affair, everything. So just know that if there is a secret out there, it's coming out. It is coming out if it hasn't come out already. All right, guys, I have got to move on. I am so sorry that was way, way long. We are going to get into the earth signs. And guys, I will admit, I'm probably going to abridge these just a little bit because I am way over time already. So earth signs, what have we got going on for you, earth signs? Earth signs, what's going on with you? What is your clarifying or additional energy for this? I am using the Sandra Ann Taylor deck. Your first card is the fourth or fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel and the thinking woman. Okay, or signs, you've got a thinker in your midst, or you are thinking about something, you're communicating something, you're communicating your love to someone. Maybe you had a secret um, uh, crush on someone. This could also be a earth sign that somebody found out that you were keeping a secret from them and they called you out on this relationship and they were just completely open. They were just like, are you seeing somebody else? This is the rumor, is this what's going on? And boom. You were caught and now they've decided to to think about it a little bit and and ask themselves you know do i want to be part of this relationship maybe they're still talking to you but they're not going to be with you anymore I, it, that's what i'm hearing they're not going to allow themselves to um to uh be part of a third party it doesn't mean that they hate you and it doesn't mean that they that they are upset 
in any really way, shape or form. They are just making a conscious decision themselves to not be part of it. So if you think that you're going to have, you know, your, you know, you're going to hit it and then quit it, you know, in a couple of weeks when you come back to town, it's not happening. They're not having any of it. So they're not going to do it. You're going to try, maybe you're going to try really hard or somebody else is going to try really hard in this situation to get this person back, but it's a no-go. All right. Let's see what else is going on here. Definitely school for a lot of earth signs. You're thinking about going back to school. Um, you're seriously thinking about going back to school. You're like, should I go? Might have something to do with legal or law. And I find this crazy interesting just because of some of the conversations I've already had this weekend. And um, and you're like, how can I do this? Can I can I live where I want to live and then just go to school online? I mean, how how can I do this? How can I mix and and match all of this? How can I create this new path in my life? What am I going to do with this? All right, you could also have a Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarian person in your life as well. So you've got a water sign, a Sag, and Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Communication is huge this week for the Earth signs. Huge. A Sagittarian could be revealing deception or a water sign could be re revealing deception or even an air sign. Or a secret gets revealed to you, earth sign, regarding somebody's feelings for you. Maybe they were hidden and now they're going to come out. So let's see, Capricorns, what do we got going on for you? Capricorns love solution. Capricorns, you're finding the solution as it relates to this situation. Or someone else has found a solution as it relates to this situation. For some of you Capricorns out there, it's like at work, okay? You're at work and you've got a really tough case that you're looking at. And it's like all of a sudden you have this eureka moment that it is the solution, right? For uh, others of you out there, you could be a scientist, you could be a scientific you know, engineer, a mathematical engineer, um, you could be in biochemistry, you could be in the health field, absolutely. Uh, lab is definitely, maybe you're getting labs drawn this upcoming week or something like that, definitely coming up here. Or having labs, having someone else get their labs drawn, get testing, blood testing, absolutely. So Capricorn, as it relates to the situation, you are trying to find a solution, possibly through communication, relative to some sort of deception at work or in love, is what I am seeing here. All right, we are going to move on to the beautiful Taurians. Taurus, what have we got going on for you, Taurus? Taurus energy for the upcoming week. What do we got, Taurus? Self-value. So Taurus, something happened here where you stood up for yourself, right? So you really loved yourself. You gave yourself the love that you deserve, and now you're standing up for yourself. This is allowing you to bring in self-value. This wasn't something that you did like behind somebody's back. You literally went directly to their face or you talked to them directly and confronted them regarding a situation. And, you know, maybe they were quiet or maybe somebody was trying to, you know, deceive you or get you off the scent. But you already know the answer, Taurus, right? So you're standing in your self-value. You're willing to wait for an exceptional individual. You are not going to settle at all anymore. It's over. You are waiting for the exceptional one. That is what is coming up here. This could be somebody who's going back to school or is going to school right now. Um, this could also be someone that is, uh, that's a singer or a performer. Absolutely. Um, what else, Taurus? There's definitely something going on here relative to some sort of research. So they could be a researcher as well, Taurus. So be aware of that. Um, 
air sign, Sagittarius, water sign. But self-value is in love is that if you want self-value, you've got to give self-value. Okay. So if you want to be valued, you must value something. You know, it's like if you don't stand for anything, you'll fall for everything, right? You've got to be able to identify and communicate what it is that you want in a relationship, Taurus. You, um, you could be in a very happy and loving bond right now, and you're just discussing the value of things, the value of the relationship. If you're single, you're like, you know what? I'm done with the deception, and I want a relationship that has value and I'm going to wait. If I have to wait for it, I'm going to wait for it. Okay. All right. So let's get into the Virgos. What have we got going on Virgos for you? For love Virgos. Sorry, this is so quick guys, but I got to get these out. Virgo, what do we got going on for you? Sagittarius. So Virgos, you actually have a Sagittarian person that is in your life right now that is going to give you information on someone else. So this Sagittarian Virgo is going to give you the 411. They're going to give you information. They, it's almost like they're your private investigator. Um, Private investigation may be coming up for some of you Virgos out there. I don't know why, but it is coming up here. For some of you Virgos out there, as it relates to love, you want to travel a little bit more. Um, you want to have a more expansive type of relationship with the person that you're with. You feel like maybe it's a little bit closed off and you're ready to expand. You're ready to move beyond the limits of where you've been. And you may be communicating that to someone. There is, for a small percentage of you Virgos out there, there is legal issues relative to a love relationship. Absolutely. Legal, law, people, politica, drama, um, power plays. And it's almost like, it's so interesting, Virgo. I don't know if you have any air in your chart, okay? But if you do, it's almost like if you've got air in your chart and you like somebody with air in their chart, <laughs> okay, like significant air, then this there's this Sagittarius in the middle of this mix for some reason. Like this Sagittarius is connecting the two of you or this Sagittarius is coming between the both of you is what I feel. But I really think for a lot of Virgos out there, this Sagittarius person is actually letting you know what someone else is looking for in a mate and you're gathering this now you might be doing it like really like on the dl like just not deceptive it's not like that it's just under the radar like you're asking specific questions or you know it's like you're kind of coming in from the side but then here's the sagittarian that's answering these questions about this person and and they're just giving you all that information that you need in order to make a decision so that is just what i see coming up here decision regarding love now, some of you Virgos out there could be in love with a Sagittarian, absolutely. Or somebody that has, you know, a significant planet aspect in Sagittarius in their chart. <clears throat> okay. So what's going on with the air signs? Air signs, what do we got going on for you? Additional energy, deceit, yep. And rest and rejuvenation. All right, so air signs, you absolutely uncovered massive deceit in a relationship. Um, this could have been with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or a Sagittarian person. Um, this is exactly what I was picking up. So air sign, basically, you confronted somebody or somebody confronted you relative to some sort of deceit, and you've just decided to go your separate ways. You're not going to be part of a third-party situation, so you're gone, right? This could have been deceit at work as well. Like somebody was telling you something, 
but it was only to gain access to your ideas, to steal your ideas, steal your hard work, whatever it was. It's like there was this level of deceit. You could also air sign be hearing about um, someone in your life that got rid of a lot of toxic energy. Okay, like somebody who got rid of a bunch of toxic ex-partners, they got rid of toxic people, they got rid of, you know, toxic people bring deceit. They do. And when they are revealed, and if somebody's aware, they're going to get rid of that person. So air sign, you might be hearing about someone saying, I had to break up with my boyfriend, or I had to get rid of this ex, or I had to finalize this, this, you know, conversation with this person because I don't want their deceitful, toxic energy in my life anymore. And that, that is really kind of what's happening. And then once that's done, once you're telling that person, you know, that information or somebody else is telling you that information could be at work, could be in love, whatever. Then it's like you move into this really calm and just flowing energy give and take and truth and honesty and rest i'm just sensing for some air signs out there it's like you were waiting for this information you were waiting for this illumination because you were worried about it you were fearful about it you were fearful that maybe somebody was seeing somebody else or you were fearful that you know, this, this particular energy was going to impact your relationship with somebody else, whether this is in work or whether this is in love, right? So what's going on here is that this information is this deceit has now been revealed. And it's almost like you, you breathe this huge sigh of relief going, Oh my gosh, that is wonderful news. That is wonderful news. The person I'm interested in just got rid of all of their exes. The person I'm interested in has, you know, been very truthful with me. Um, I just discovered massive deceit. And now that I've confronted that person and got them out of my life, I can finally rest and relax and recover and heal from the situation. That is what I am getting. Absolutely. So that's the reason why that energy is here. I think a lot of air signs out there discovered deceit, addressed it, and now your mind is calm. Or someone around you discovered deceit, addressed it, told you about it, and because of that, you are now calm. <clears throat> Some of you air signs are uh, really working out your arms, your upper body as well. Looking really, really good too. Good job, guys, if you're doing that. Uh, for some of you air signs also, um, you might be partaking in wine this week a little bit more than you normally would. Or for some of you, um, you're recovering from an addiction. You are recovering from an addiction. Okay, so let's see what else we've got going on here. For the beautiful Aquarians, what's your love energy Aquarians? You do have the talk. So Aquarians, you are going to be having a talk with somebody probably, you know, related, okay, to this particular deceit, whatever was hidden, maybe about a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, uh, relative to love or emotion or peace or um, something that was hidden. So that's what's going to happen. Like maybe somebody hid some money from you or somebody said that they had to pay this off, but then they took the money and they went on a trip. And it's like, you've got credit card receipts and everything, or you've got the credit card bill and you're like, what is this? I gave you that money to take a business trip and, and you went to Cabo. Is that where the business trip was? You know, it's just almost like somebody's confronting somebody through talking to them about a deceitful situation. This could also be if you were in a happy and loving bond Aquarius, that your significant other or your child even could be coming up to you and talking to you about feeling like they have, they've been deceived or they've been lied to or they've been used or they've been bullied. 
and you're having that discussion with them saying, you know what, let's calm down, let's look at this, everything's gonna be okay. All right, so that's happening. It's like a child is coming to you and they're upset because somebody treated them badly and they don't know how to handle it. Okay, so that could be happening. So you're having that talk, all right? You could also be having a talk with your significant other relative to that particular type of energy or some sort of deceit that they're going through at work and you're helping them work through it, okay? But for some of you, if you uncover deceit regarding um, somebody you're dating, a work colleague or whatever, you're confronting the deceit, all right? Now, as we move in towards the end of the week, this talk then, whatever gets revealed or whatever gets uncovered is, is really putting you, <clears throat> excuse me, is really putting you in a significant position of power and balance. And you are able to rest your mind because you had this talk. So what I'm gonna say for the Aquarians out there, if you have been wanting to talk to a significant other, somebody you're dating, you're a family member, a child, if you've been wanting to have a talk with them, it is in your best interest to do that this week, okay? Or maybe the upcoming week. Because after you have this talk, then you are going to be able to rest your mind, rest your soul, rest your body, sleep better. Some of you Aquarians out there are not sleeping well. Um, for some uh, Aquarians out there, I just heard medical claims, um, medical malpractice, okay? And it might have something to do with a surgery that was done. Yep, it's coming up here. Sorry, that was just a download, just came in. All right, let's see the beautiful Geminis. What's going on with you, Geminis? What is this love energy for you, Geminis? Geminis, beautiful gems. What have we got? Support. So Geminis, what's happening here is you are offering support to an individual, a friend, a family member, a loved one, okay? When they come to you about... Um, the acknowledgement of and the discovery of a level of deceit in their life, you're giving them a lot of support. Good job, Gems. Good job. You're doing what you do best. You're, you're looking at things objectively. You're looking at things from all sides. You're being supportive. You're being kind. And it's like, lay it on me. You know, you've been there for me in the past. Now I'm going to be here for you. What did you find out? What do you want to talk about? Let's work through this. What, what are the next steps? What are you considering? I'll just be a sounding board, all right? Now, Gemini, you could be doing that for somebody or somebody could be doing that for you, but you are very supportive and you are, you are in an extremely powerful position. I just keep hearing extremely powerful position for the gems and the air signs. I don't know why this is. So this is what's coming up. And this could be, like I said, any any deceit in, in your life at all. But I do feel it's related to emotionalism, something that was uncovered or love of some sort, or somebody being bullied is what I'm hearing. Uh, somebody pulling the wool over somebody's eyes. But then as we get into the latter part of the week, this support that you've given somebody has allowed them an opportunity to um, recategorize their their um their path okay maybe what they're gonna do is you know maybe they said you know what maybe i just need to take a vacation and you're like yeah man like we can both go if you want to go on vacation let, let's both go to, to cabo let's both go to florida let's both go to greece let's both go to wherever okay we'll we'll get away we'll get away together we'll we'll have fun we'll just forget about all this mess right but for some of you out there, this could be where, you know, they suggest that, they suggest moving possibly, and you're there to support them. Even though you don't want them to go, it's like you're there to support them. You're there, you're there to help them, okay? And you're very, very, you're very powerful in their life right now. You're really impactful for them. And Gemini, you could be doing this or somebody could be doing this to you, but there is massive support regarding whatever it is you're going through 
you are giving and receiving support, you're looking at the appropriate balance, there is something regarding the medical field. There is something regarding some sort of assessment, some sort of procedure, some sort of, um, what do I want to say? Um, somebody is peering into something, okay? Somebody is peering in, like they're looking closer at something, like in a microscope is, is what I'm hearing here. So just be aware of that, okay? And that was kind of a download more than anything. But somebody's really, really getting into the microscopic aspects of either a love situation, a business relationship, or even themselves, right? School, uh, whatever, they're looking deeper into it. They're considering it. They're putting their toe in the water. Okay, this is what's coming up for the Geminis. But Geminis, you are uncovering. I feel that you have uncovered deceit. You're holding somebody accountable. And now you're the one that's powerful because now you've got intel on somebody else. And it is very damaging intel. All right, Gems. All right, Librans, what do we got for you, Librans? Librans in love. What do we got, Librans? Librans. Get the facts. This is just amazing. Uh, Librans, I believe for many Librans out there, you could have been dating somebody. Um, you could have felt like something was off or somebody's somebody's story is not making sense. And now it's like you're being asked to look deeper into the situation and get the facts. Okay. What are the facts of the situation? You could have a child that's deceiving you. I just heard for some Librans out there, your child is lying to you, outright lying to you. They're, a, they're an operative. Wow. Librans, this is weird. <laughs> They've been sabotaging you and you are confronting them. Or perhaps you have been sabotaging them, Libra, and they are confronting you. Absolutely. It may have something to do with a love relationship. This also may have something to do with a child coming to you. Say, for example, um, you know, you got a divorce or you're separated and, you know, your significant other wants to work on it. And they're like, no, I'll change and everything. But then it's like your, your son or your daughter hears about them seeing someone else or catching some, you know, them in the act or, um, you know, their phone, like being like getting texts off the hook, right. From this person that they're seeing or, or you're soon to be x official x is like is throwing you under the bus all the time and like your child is is holding all of this energy in and it's like they've got to release it and they're about to come out and tell you the truth regarding this person this person whoever it was that's you know trying either is you know like maybe like i said it was a separation or something like that or or something right? And they're, they're revealing the truth. They're revealing the deception. Now, Librans, they could also be revealing to someone else your deception towards that other person. So be aware of that as well. But I feel it's a little bit more like your child is lying to you or your child, you ask your child, well, you know, you know, what's your mother doing or what's your whatever. And it's like they're covering up for somebody is what I'm hearing. And it doesn't have to be like cheating or a third party situation. It's just like maybe they're, you know, planning a surprise or something like that. Or, you know, maybe somebody's trying to hide that they've got an addiction. Okay. They've got like a, an alcohol addiction. They're a functional alcoholic. They've got something like that. And it's like, it's being uncovered. Okay. Wow, Librans, this is really long. I got to keep going. 
So then towards the end of the week, um, because you got the facts or the facts were revealed to you in this situation, now you, you are absolutely relaxing. You're letting it go. You're able to look at something and say, now I'm ready to offer you know, some uh, energy into the situation. Now I'm ready to give a little bit more to the situation because the deceit has been uncovered. I found out that this person not only is being truthful with me, but it took a lot of balls, you know, for them to tell me the truth of what was going on. And I have corroboration with that truth. And now that I do, and I've got the facts, I am moving on into a more, in a, in a calm manner, a giving manner, a partnership that's worth it. And, you know, this could also be Librans that, you know, you discover that deceit regarding somebody. And now that you've got the facts, now you move on without them. You know, that could also be what's going on here. All right. So. And for other and Librans, for some of you, you're telling your significant other, you're telling the one that you love, get the facts. Don't be impetuous. Don't don't just go you know nutso on this. Get the facts before you make any moves. Get the facts and then address the situation. So that could be how you're helping out a friend or a loved one as well. So let's look at the beautiful water signs. Water signs, what do we got going on for you, for your energy? Oh my gosh, your cards are like flopping out all over the place. I'm gonna keep this back up right. Okay. So for some reason, uh, water signs, I feel like you have more energy and it's very nervous energy. It's very like ticky energy. Um, shaking, uh, I'm hearing Parkinson's for some people. Uh, so you might know somebody with Parkinson's or something like that, some sort of nerve, um, neurological, um, uh, ailment. Okay. That is definitely coming up here. Some of you are just really clumsy, you know, especially the Pisceans because Pisceans, you know, we've got Mercury going retrograde in our sign and it's just like really... Some of you Pisceans are getting really neurotic, so you just got to calm that down and, and kind of bring that back into balance. All right. So water signs, what is your energy? You have first chakra, archangel Michael, and you have yin and yang. All right. So water signs, what's, somebody by the name of Michael could be of great significance for a lot of you water signs out there. Somebody by the name of Michael might be contacting you, Mike, Michael, something like that, definitely coming up here. This, this man, or it, it could be a woman, but this man may have something to um, talk to you about relative to um, some sort of love interest or something that has been hidden, absolutely could be coming out here, trying to find that balance. I find it so interesting, Water Signs. You are the master balancers this week so you are you are going to have people coming to you that are completely neurotic that you are going to have to help to get to help them bring balance back into their life all right or you're being asked to bring massive balance look at this ladies and gentlemen you've got temperance all about balance and you've got the six of pentacles all about balance balance give and take absolutely then you've got yin and yang. Seriously, this is about balance. So if you are not in balance, and I told the water signs this last time, right? Get yourself in balance. Do not be neurotic. Okay, very, very important here. Your foundation depends on it. Um, for some of you out there, some of you water signs out there, you could definitely be going into the legal field. Anytime I think of balance, I think of, you know, the justice card which is the Libra card. So maybe some of you water signs are dealing with a Libra person and they bring you great balance or you bring them great balance. You may have told, you know, uh, a Libra about some sort of deception or something that was hidden, or maybe you're letting them know that you love them. Or maybe this Libra person is letting you know that they love you. That could absolutely be.
perhaps there's someone in your life right now that's protecting you, that is absolutely protecting you, like you have a protector. And this guy is definitely a protector. I mean, look at this. <laughs> How tall is this guy? Hmm, let's see. <laughs> he could, this, this guy could have like a, a kind of a reddish blonde hair. Um, definitely, just the way he's holding that sword, seriously, it to me, it feels like it's like an air sign or an earth sign is what it feels like. So it feels like, because it's the root chakra, it's the protective chakra. So to me, that's grounded in the earth, but the sword is all about the air element. So I definitely feel that water signs. So water signs, if you're having any issues relative to a love relationship and you don't know how it's working, you don't know how it's manifesting, you're, you're, you dip your toe in the water, then you take it back out, you give a little, and then maybe you get a little, but you, you got these feelings that are starting to kind of bubble over. You know, right now, if it doesn't appear that anything is going on in the surface, don't worry about it. Archangel Michael is behind the scenes taking care of everything, okay? Everything, revealing deception, revealing secret feelings, revealing secret love, revealing a secret admirer. I mean, water sign, this is, Archangel Michael is literally like, it's almost like whoever this other person is, it's like Archangel Michael is like literally like walking right beside that person revealing the truth to them about your union or your your bond or whatever that is definitely but you you definitely need to balance the masculine and the feminine don't get overly masculine don't get overly feminine try to really balance it out whatever you do water sign do not get blubbering emotional do not do not. I am sensing for some of you water signs out there, though, somebody is going to be coming to you and they are going to be um, utilizing tears um, to get what they want out of you. So be aware that someone is trying to pull the wool over your eyes through um, being overly emotional or saying you don't love me anymore or sending you a sad face or whatever it is it's like you're looking at this and you're like i am so freaking over this and the reason you are is because archangel michael came in and said no we know better don't we we know better than to give this person any attention because they are absolutely draining your energy it's time to go so you just stay here you do your netflix and chill and I'm going to fly over there to, to what's their face, who's overly emotional, and I'm going to give them the 411, and I'm going to give them a reality check. Okay, that is what I feel is happening here. Like, you don't need to do anything. The karma and the, the universe is just going to take care of everything. You don't even need to do anything. You just got to be yourself and just stay in balance is what I'm sensing water signs. Beautiful energy, actually. And you may have, you know, told somebody something. You, you've got a relationship with somebody by the name of Michael. And this could be just a good friend. Or Michael reveals something to you regarding a love relationship. Some sort of deceit. Or someone thinks that you... You were, you had deception in a relationship with somebody by the name of Michael, but it's coming out that that is not the case. It's almost, and it doesn't have to be the name Michael, but it's almost like somebody thinks that you had a relationship with this guy. Could be a girl. You had this relationship, but nothing ever happened. And now the person that you were with or you spent time with where nothing happened it's almost like that person is now coming into the into the um, the scene and is saying, "No, we never we never did anything. We just had fun. We we went to restaurants. We went to museums. We we never had sex. We never we don't have a relationship. What are you talking about? Okay, so that could be going on for some of you out there. 
All right. Water signs, Pisces. What do we got going on for love, Pisces? Pisces love. The X. All right, Pisces. Um, whatever is going on here, you have someone that is your ex. It could be an ex-husband, an ex-wife. Or if you're with somebody right now, their ex-husband or their ex-wife could be causing issues or a problem. Please know this, Pisces, that something is going on here where the situation is protected. Okay, the situation is protected. If this ex is coming back in to cause issues in your love life with somebody, they won't be able to win. They, they, they will basically hit a brick wall. If this ex is coming back in in order to balance the scales and provide comfort and calm to a situation, that's where it starts and that's where it ends, okay? The, this, this, is, this is absolutely um, protected. Archangel Michael is protecting this situation. Absolutely. But for a lot of Pisces out there, I mean, we do have Mercury going retrograde in your sign. So yeah, you could have an X coming back. I'd, I'd, I'd make sure that, you know, that you make it clear what your expectations are and they make it clear what their expectations are. <clears throat> there could have been, there. you could have a psychic connection with your ex. But... I just heard let the chips fall where they may. So I think what's going on here, Pisces, is that it's important for you maybe just to back off and be very detached. You can still be loving and kind and communicative and still be detached and just let the chips fall where they may. Okay, because it appears that whatever the outcome is, Archangel Michael is there to make sure that you are protected. You, you are protected. Okay. <clears throat> Even if that is the revealing of some sort of deceit or some sort of psychic connection with love or something like that. All right, Cancers, what do we got going on with you for love? Cancers, what have we got? Taurus. All right, Cancers, you've got a Taurus person coming into your life. They may definitely have the name Michael, okay? So um, this Taurus person is someone that you are very interested in, uh, Cancerians. Um, this could also be someone that is a water sign, is uh, possibly a Sagittarian as well, okay? So they could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Sagittarian, okay? Now, uh, for you Cancers out there, also could be a Taurus, someone with a lot of Taurian energy in their chart. Um, there is a level of needing to get prepared for a big change coming into your life. I just heard for some of you Cancerians out there, there is some sort of big change that's coming. It could be something relative to A diet program, I I don't know why that came up, but a diet program, okay? Like it, a diet program. And, you know, this may be for some of you Cancerians out there that don't fall for fads and don't fall for people that are like just trying to sell you a bill of goods, like sell you a bridge in San Francisco. Uh, because it's crap. It's not worth it. <clears throat> Absolutely. So be aware of that. But yeah, cancers, it's like they're, you're getting ready for some unexpected event. Or there was an unexpected, like you feel it. It's not even that it's happened yet for a lot of you Cancerians out there, but you feel it. You feel it's there. It's like it's underneath the surface. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been talking a while. 
And sorry, this is long, guys. But anyway, so you really got to find that balance. Okay, just find that balance. And maybe you've got a Taurus friend. And this Taurus friend is going to work through some issues with you relative to your love life. Um, a Taurus child could be of great significance as well. Maybe your Taurus child is is um, <clears throat> is being a little bit deceptive, but you're going to uncover it because it's almost like Archangel Michael kind of comes in and, and puts them in their place. Like the, it's going to be uncovered. Something is is going to be uncovered, but also it could be that if you have a Taurus child, even a water sign child or a Sagittarian child, that Archangel Michael is protecting them from something that is very deceptive and dishonest. So be aware of that as well, Cancers. But you definitely have Taurian energy around you for your love. Okay. This Taurus person may have deceived you or you may have deceived this Taurus person. But again, Archangel Michael is here. And man, let me tell you what. That is one strong energy. And if you've got that next to the moon card, I'm telling you right now, either you're being protected from deceit or someone else is being protected from deceit from you. Okay. So that's definitely what's happening. All right. Beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. What have we got going on? Scorpios. What's going on for your love energy? Scorpios. Love energy for Scorpios. Scorpios, what have we got? Finances. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, Scorpios, something is going on relative to a discussion regarding finances. Um, this could be where you want to make more money or you want your significant other to make more money, but they're either not, or they could be giving their finances to someone else, or they could be a little bit too open and too enabling of the children and this bothers you, okay? Somebody by the name of Michael could be helping you out. Know this, Scorpios, you do have psychic protection. You do have angelic protection from Archangel Michael. There is deceit that is going to be revealed relative to finances. This might've been something for some of you, Scorpios, not all of you, but this could have been something where you sense that someone might not be, might not they may not be completely honest with you or they're not being completely honest with you relative to finances. It's like you look in these credit card bills and you see this credit card receipt and it's like they said that they were at the gym, right? But then you get the credit card receipt for that date and they were at like a strip club or they were at like a bar or they were at a, a, a hotel or something like that. There is going to be something that gets revealed. And it's gonna it's gonna get revealed through finances. There's a need for you to balance your finances. There's a need for you to protect your interests, um, to make sure that your money is not being pilfered, okay? Make sure that you're not investing in something, you and your loved one are not investing in something that is not um, that is not wise that is not a good move, whatever, but finances are definitely coming up in the love section of your reading. So please be aware of that, but you do have protection. And I'm sensing for a lot of the water signs, I think it's because the sun, the moon, and uh, Neptune are all conjuncting right now. Um, <clears throat> and you guys sextile one another. So I'm sorry, trying one another. So in this particular situation, I think all water signs are being divinely protected. And either you are revealing deception with someone or someone is revealing deception with you. And the truth is revealed so that you can finally rest and you can finally just let it go. Okay, so what do we got going on for the beautiful fire signs? Fire signs, what have we got? Fire signs, what's going on here, fire signs? Fire signs. First card is angel of strength. You've got a Leo person in your life. And what is your second card? Walking away. 
All right, fire signs, you've got possibly a uh, Wow, fire signs. This is going to be interesting, so just bear with me. Um, fire signs, you are having a conversation with someone. And that conversation is about someone who has uncovered a level of deceit that hits them to their core, okay? They feel like they were really betrayed, fire sign. Now, somebody could be saying this about you, fire sign, that you betrayed them, okay? But it is coming up here. You may have betrayed somebody, fire sign, with a Leo person, okay? You may have betrayed someone regarding love. But what's happening here, now remember, this can be in business, this can be in love. This is very general. If I say love, Take it for whatever aspect this is making sense to you, all right? This is a general reading. It may or it may not apply to some of you out there. So this Leo person might be telling you, fire sign, about deception regarding love or a deception regarding love. And because this Leo person is telling you about this deception or this, uh, you are the person that they're talking to regarding this deception, somebody is walking away. Somebody has to walk away because some sort of deception regarding love was uncovered. Somebody put their protective barrier up. And because they put their protective barrier up, this person has to walk away. This person was dipping their toe in the water they were coming around they were gathering information they were they were getting information from their children possibly um from friends they were paying their friends off they were paying their children off like you know i need you to get information on this person i need you to get information on this neighbor i need you to get this information blah 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 and and then you're like okay and okay, I'll pay you for this. Um, <clears throat> you know, whoever brings me the most information gets more money, gets more of an allowance, you know, whatever. But I need this information because maybe you're getting a divorce from somebody and you're trying to catch them cheating. You're trying to catch them doing something they shouldn't be doing, something like that. And this might be the conversation that you're having with somebody. And what happens is that deception is uncovered, fire sign. That de deception is uncovered, whether it's you as a friend that is uncovering the deception or it is somebody uncovering the deception about you, might be a Leo, might be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, might even be a Sag. Okay, once that deception is uncovered, okay, then for whatever reason, here's this person that has to walk away. Looks like this is the person that either found out about the deception and is now saying, I don't want to have anything to do with that. So if you're the fire sign that's hearing about this deception, maybe, you know, maybe you're a woman and maybe you've got long, you know, brown hair, right? You are now walking away from a situation because you have been deceived and this, dece this deception has been uncovered, you know, through talking to a Sagittarius a Leo, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, daughter, you know, son, friend, whatever. So this deception is uncovered. And now you're saying, I'm out of here. I am no longer going to put my time and my energy and, and my, my giving energy, my reciprocation into this relationship because it's full of deceit. Why would I do that? I'm going to walk away. But what I'm sensing for most of you out there, um, again, it could be either way, all right? It could be either way. It just feels like um, a fire sign. You are getting information on someone else's deceit and you are watching from a distance someone having to walk away because they deceived someone else. Okay, so say you've got a friend fire sign and 
this friend uncovers this massive deception in their love life. And now this friend is saying no more like this. And this deception could have been, you know, being conducted by this woman with long brown hair. They pulled out all the stops. They, they did whatever it took to win in a very nasty way, in a very um, almost kind of like mean and evil and underhanded way. And they get found out and now they have to walk away. They have to walk away from it. Okay. So just be aware of that fire signs. I'm sensing fire signs that you are actually seeing. Some of you fire signs may actually see a woman with long, dark brown or black hair getting thrown out of somebody's house. Like the locks are getting changed. She can't get in anymore. She's caused too much drama. That's just what, and if you guys, if you have long, dark hair and you did not do that, this is not you. Okay. But then, then of you out there that have this characteristic, maybe you are the one walking away from the deceit. But let's see what we've got going on here. My beautiful, beautiful. Aries, what is your love energy, Aries? Taurus. So Aries, you're definitely talking to a Taurian person. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter. Okay, you're talking to a Taurus person about this situation. A Taurus person could be talking to you about this situation. This particular Taurus person is um, wants commitment, wants love, wants reciprocation in a relationship. And if they are not going to get it, they are walking away. I am sensing for some of you fire signs out there, for some of you uh, Aries out there even, that um, a Taurus is telling you about some sort of deception and they have decided to walk away. For others of you uh, Aries out there, there is a Taurus person that is now walking towards you because they have discovered deception in their own life. Now they want to, you know, embark on a relationship with you or you've discovered deception and you're walking towards a relationship with them. Definitely. And this has everything to do with loyalty, dedication, and perseverance. So just be aware that that's your love energy. So Leos, what have we got going on with the beautiful Leos out there? Leos, what have we got? Leos for love. Timid. Leos, I am sensing for some of you Leos out there that someone walked away from somebody else or someone had to get out of a deceptive situation. They're talking to you about it. They want to move into a more honest, loving, and stable, and emotionally fulfilling relationship, but they're scared. They're timid. They're afraid that they're going to make the same mistakes again. All right, Leos, this could be coming from you, but I'm sensing you're actually, um, you're actually getting this from a friend. Okay. Like you're talking to somebody about it. Leos is what's happening here because someone, someone's deception was uncovered. They had to walk away. They had to because they were they were called out. OK, and because they were called out. Now, this other person is going through this withdrawal. They're going through. How could have I been part of a situation where all this deception happened? And it's like. They don't know if they want to get right back into the dating game. They're timid. OK, they don't know if they want to be part of this. They don't know if they want to um, embark on a relationship right now because they're tired. They feel that, like they've been deceived. They feel like they've got to have their boundaries up. And because of that, it's like they're deciding to either walk away or somebody decided to walk away from them or that somebody was forced to walk away from them. But now they're reticent to get into another relationship. So that could be going on for some of you Leos out there. And some of you Leos, you're definitely, somebody walked away from a relationship and now, because they walked away from a relationship because of deception, now they're coming your direction. 
Yeah, for sure. So be aware of that. So what do we have going on for the beautiful Sages? Sages, what have we got going on here? Sagittarians, what do we got? For love for Sagittarians, the past. All right, Sages, what I am sensing here is that there is something happening where someone is bringing up their past. Someone is bringing up your past relative to love. This could be a situation you're having a discussion with your significant other and some sort of past issue comes back up for readdressing, for reevaluation. This could be related to a new business venture. This could be related to the reciprocation in a relationship. This could be related to, you know, monitoring feelings and, and not getting overly emotional. All right. Maybe about something in the past that happened that was deceptive or that was uh, hidden or that was um, illusory or something like that. And how you went through these phases of going through protection and walking away and coming back and walking away and coming back. It's like there's this discussion being had about the past. It's like you're hashing out the past again. But for some of you Sagittarians out there, I believe that perhaps what happened is some sort of deception was uncovered by someone. I think it's about you, Sagittarius. I think that you are the one that the deception was uncovered about. Okay, but it could be the other way around. But someone uncovered some level of deception. They put their walls up of protection. And what's happening is because because of this past issue, them bringing up something from the past, you thought it was done with, you thought it wasn't going to affect you anymore, but something comes back around and it's brought up to the surface and somebody's saying, is this the truth? Did you do this? This is what I heard. And Sagittarius, depending on your answer, if you are truthful or if you are deceptive, or if you don't really even answer the question, whatever you answer to this particular past issue is gonna shape your future on whether or not you're gonna be with this person or you're gonna be with somebody else. I'm just letting you know. But the past is coming up. So someone from your past could be coming back. Um, you're looking back at your past to see if you could have handled something differently. Um, You're reminiscing about the past. You're, you're thinking about the past relative to a lost opportunity for some of you Sagittarians out there, or someone is thinking about that regarding a lost opportunity with you. But for the majority of you, what I sense more than anything is that you are hearing about someone that had deception in their life regarding a love situation, they put their boundaries up. Someone was forced to walk away because they deceived and manipulated this other person and you're hearing about it. Like this person is actually revealing to you that this person that they loved, this person that they were with, this person that they gave another chance to, this person that, 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 this person deceived them the whole time. They had operatives, they had people checking in, they had people spying on them, everything. And they're telling you about this, Sagittarian. They're telling you. And you're like, wow, I can't even believe that. That is just crazy. And again, for some Sagittarians out there, it's like you're suggesting to this person or this person is considering like changing the locks on their doors because they want this person out forever. They don't want to have anything to do with this person. All right, guys, this was long. Um, I am going to be posting the um, uh, Pisces new moon next. Okay. But I just want to let you know that I wanted to get these out and I'll try to make sure that they're shorter in the future. And there will be timestamps in the description box. I wish you the best, much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.